Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here, your entertaining and enthusiastic, sometimes a little quirky girl in the woods, hoping to bring my love of the outdoors to you and put a smile on your face today. What am I doing out here by my vehicle? Well, I just picked up some roadkill. Yeah, roadkill, how exciting! Oh! Yeah, okay, roadkill, why do I pick up road? This isn't the first roadkill I've picked up. Let me show you what I got. Today I got a coyote, just hit. And uh, why would I want to pick up roadkill? Well, a couple reasons. I love grossing my husband out. But you know, I hate seeing fur-bearing animals going to waste on the side of the road. The other thing is, you're preventing other animals, other scavengers, from the potential of getting hit themselves. That's kind of what I think probably happened to this coyote. There was a deer carcass not too far away, and it was probably heading to check out the deer carcass. Thing is, it's, it's yeah, a little gross maybe. I haven't really looked over this coyote very well to see what kind of shape it's in. A couple things I can do with this. I can salvage the skull, okay? I want to show you guys how to boil out a skull. A kind of a gross process, but at the end, you've got a really nice... Maisie. You got a really nice skull you can use, and I teach kids outdoor stuff, so that might be handy. Maisie likes the coyote. <laughs> the other thing is, um, you know, I, I have coyote ruffs around some of my coats, and if this, if this pelt is at all salvageable, it's a good chance to try to learn how to tan a hide without a lot on the line. You know, if it's just something you picked up, it's not something you hunted or trapped, and it's in great condition, this is something you can experiment with. This pelt, if it's salvageable, is a good way to learn how to home tan or, um, you know, save it for a project without a lot on the line. So, interestingly enough, this coyote is missing its tail. It's like a, uh, like a Manx cat, you know, with the little stubby tail. That's what this, this coyote doesn't have a tail. Very interesting. So, um, yeah. Picking up roadkill, it's pretty gross sometimes. It's not for everyone, but you can maybe keep an, another animal from getting hit on the road and salvage some of the parts of this animal and it won't go to waste. I'll spare you the, the grossities of skinning it out. I'll show you what it looks like skinned out and I'll show you the skull. We'll go through the process. Here we go. in some spots is in good shape. Like I said, this coyote doesn't have a tail. It's so weird. It's a very small coyote, too. But, uh... Good thick fur. Now I'll just get it out and see what we got. guys check this out I've got a coyote pelt here yeah the roadkill coyote turns out uh, it's a nice nice prime winter coyote and I had to cut off some of the belly the belly fur that was damaged and I didn't end up keeping the head because it uh, keeping the skull it was a mess so wasn't able to keep the skull to boil it out, but that's a nice pelt. So what I'm gonna do now is just wrap it up and freeze it. I ordered some tanning solution that I can do at home. So what I wanna do is come back with you guys in another segment and we will tan this. But yeah, there you go, roadkill coyote. I can probably make some roughs out of this once I tan it. So join me next time when I come back and tan this thing. Give this video a like if you uh, enjoyed it. And if you're new to this channel, I'd love to have you join us. Hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time. I love grossing my husband out. <laughs> That's cool.